how the bloody hell are we? Welcome back to another progress video for the group Iron Man series. Before we go ahead and jump on into this one, guys, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video and leave a comment down below. On top of that, my vlog channel will also be linked in the description and I'm uploading over there weekly. If you want to get an inside look as to what me and my friends get up to IRL. And one last thing before we jump in. Ladies and gentlemen, it brings me great pleasure to introduce not only the sponsor of today's video, but the official sponsor of the group Iron Man project as a whole. Whole. They are sponsoring not only me, but also Perp, Skidler, and Ron. And that is the Ridge Wallet. Not only have they been gracious enough to sponsor the entire Group Iron Man project, they've also allowed me to do this without a shirt on. The Ridge Wallet comes in a super sleek design, which allows you to hold up to 12 cards inside, as well as some cash in the back. I've been carrying this around for about 12 days now, and I always feel like such a boss with a money clip. They come in over 30 designs, and I went with the carbon fiber. I really love the print on it. The durable materials mean each Ridge Wallet comes with a lifetime warranty, and they're so confident that you'll love it that they'll even let you try it out for 45 days, and if you don't love it, they'll let you send it back for a full refund. If you guys head down to the description of this video, you'll find a link ridge.com forward slash evscape where you can find the Ridge website. And if you use code evscape at the checkout, you'll get 10% off your purchase of a Ridge wallet. Every purchase of a Ridge wallet goes directly towards supporting not only me, but the rest of the group Iron Man team. So a massive shout out to Ridge wallets for looking after the boys. All right, kicking off the next episode exactly where... We uh, finished the last one. We're at the tie thumb and we're about to get a level. 97, I accidentally killed three, but there's 20,000 XP from that one go. That's really nice. So up to 55 now. We can now plant mahogany trees, cacti, and blah, 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 blah. We're aiming for 62. That's the level that is going to allow us to boost up to do the farming contracts. And that's what we want to do. Just missed 60 farming here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get 250 points for the seed box by the time I hit 62, which is fine by me. I'm happy to come back for more points later when I hit 74 farming eventually. And that way we get more XP for the time we spend here, which we'll be better off for in the long run. So once we hit 62, we'll get out of here, even if we don't have the seed box. All right, and there's going to be 62 farming. And that means we can now boost up to get ourselves some medium contracts. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. 205 points, which means we're 50 points off either the seed box or the herb sack. But we don't need either of those right now because, well, we're not doing Slayer. And this is where I'm going to be parking my ass for the next God knows how long. I need to chop four and a half ish thousand of these teak logs so I can do mahogany homes to get my construction up to 70. I probably need a little less than that considering I get some planks back from the supply crates, but I'll just chop enough and if I have extra, I can give the rest to the other boys. If I was being efficient about it, I would go do Throne of Miscellanea, but that requires the hero's quest. And uh, if you think I'm going questing right now, you got another thing coming. Now, luckily I used my brain and pre-planted these two teak trees and got 70 agility in the last episode. So I can climb through this hole and go to the bank a lot easier. It's gonna make the whole process so much quicker. Could technically two tick these teaks as well. And I may do some of that when I'm not AFK, but I've got to edit a video right now. There it is. That is level 59 Hunter. That is a level four U bird houses. Unfortunately, I don't have the crafting level to make them at the moment. Uh, Ron does, but I will uh, most likely be getting the crafting level myself. It's only 60 and I need to get 70 for Song of the Elves anyway. All right, so I ended up chopping 2,248 teak logs. That should be enough to get uh, to 70 construction with Mahogany Homes. Just have to turn them into planks now. I've got 1.5 mil cash and that should be enough for the whole thing. Okay, so I've made all of the logs into planks here. We have two and a half thousand teak planks as well as some oak planks to get us to 50. So we can start using the teaks for the mahogany homes. I've stocked up on law runes. I've never ever done mahogany homes before. So I have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but we're just gonna give it a crack. And with this last one, this is going to be 50 construction here. And we're gonna take the cover. First of all, but second of all, this means we can now get um, better contracts and that's going to provide us with more points for the contracts and that's going to help us save up for the rewards a lot quicker. And the first reward we are going to be going for is the plank sack 350 points. 
That way we can just carry some more in our inventory. It makes it a little bit easier for us. I'm almost a million percent positive you guys have heard this a thousand times before, but a little tip for Iron Man. Just plant a whiteberry bush here at the Ardoyan Monastery. And every time you uh, teleport in to use the fairy rings, just pick a uh, pick a couple of whiteberries off that piece. Note about the tall leprechaun and you'll just stock up on them so much for later in the account when you're making super defense potions. 60 construction coming in. That allows us to make seven rooms. Not really interested in that. We are getting pretty close to being able to afford the plank sack at 350 points. But the thing that I wanted to show was the fact that uh, you can actually use the banked XP calculator and show how you would do with Mahogany Homes. We can put that in and it shows the extra XP you would get for Mahogany Homes. And as you can see, we have exactly enough planks to get to 70, which is huge. I love to see it. All right, that is 350 points, which means we can now buy the plank sack. And that is basically just gonna allow us to carry an entire secondary inventory of planks when we're running around doing the mini game. I'm gonna be spending the rest of the reward points on the supply crates. I don't want any of this other stuff, so I don't need to save points up for those. And the supply crates can give me some more planks, but also give me some steel bars, which I desperately need for this mini game anyway. So just gonna be opening them up every single time I get 25 points. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's either gonna be this one or the next one will be the last one. Next one, remove the shelves put them back up and that is 70 construction. That is another requirement for some of the elves out the way. And we can now do expert contracts for Mahogany Homes, but we won't be doing that for a little while. Lots of new stuff we can build in the house, but we're gonna start off with that gilded altar and we're gonna go do that right now. Just gonna quickly spend all of my reward points here at uh, Amy Supply Crates. Can we buy, yeah, 18 of those bad boys and we'll rack them open right now and have a look at what kind of stuff we get. Oh, that's pretty good. 144 steel bars. That's actually really, really nice because Ron's doing his mahogany homes at the moment. So I can just pass them on to him. The planks, however, <laughs> not very good at all. In reality, it's a lot easier to just go get the crystal saw from Eyes of Galofri and then get a T-boost as well. But we don't do things the easy way here on the Expected Value RuneScape channel. There we go. Only took about four years, but we finally got the gilded altar in the house, which is pretty funny considering the fact that I have literally 23 prayer points. Uh, so when I start training prayer, it's going to go pretty quick. And I am going to be training up with dragon bones on these altars as well. And uh, we'll get the rest of it going. But very, very nice. Also very juicy. Ron actually made some glories for the boys. And he's just given me mine, which means I now have unlimited teleports with the glory, which is massive because prior to that, I was walking to Edgeville. Ronno really hooking it up here. I don't quite have the... Uh... <laughs> I don't, have, <laughs> I don't have the crafting level to make you burn houses, so he's made them for me for my next 10 runs. And uh, I'll just get him to do that every time I run out until I have the crafting level to make them myself. And that's 60 hunter coming in here. We can now make four traps at a time. I think I might do a little bit of chin chomper hunting before we go do Song of the Elves just to get the range level up. I've just found out I need 60 to do Morning's End Part 1 anyway. So I will probably want to do that as fast as I can. And this is going to be 65 farming coming in, which means we no longer have to boost to get the mid-tier farming contracts and we can kill Hispori. Obviously, we've already done both of those things already, uh, but we now can do it without a boost, which is much better. Save my garden pies. Oh my fucking God. I have been waiting so long for this. For those that don't know, you have to have all three pieces of the camo outfit and then get another Sergeant Damien random event to unlock the push-up emote. <laughs> oh, I got three of them when I had five days playtime. It's been literally three full days playtime since my last Damien. That is 60 mining and that is where we are going to leave it off for this episode. I am gonna be staying here at the mother load mine until I get 70 mining or the full prospect outfit. After I get the full prospect outfit, I'll be heading out to the desert to get some sand. That way we can do our crafting later in the series, but I wanna get the full prospector outfit so that I can do the Falador hard diaries and I might as well do it now in the early game. That way I can do the Falador hard diaries and use the XP reward on Herb Lore and that's gonna make it a lot easier to get to 70. We only have five more stats, I believe, to get to Song of the Elves. Farming, Herb Lore, Hunter, Mining, and Smithing. 
Mining is obviously the only big one that we have left that we sort of have to train up for. Smithing is gonna be very easy, just have to buy the gold ore. Hunter is just gonna come from birdhouses. Farming's just gonna come from farm runs. And herb law is also gonna come from farm runs as well as those diaries. So once we get mining, it should be a pretty quick pace all the way to Song of the Elves. And we should be able to get there in the next couple of weeks. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out my vlog channel. Link will be in the description for that one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take it easy.